How is it going everyone? Welcome back to another open flash tablet slash ROM Raider video. In this one we're going to go ahead and cover how to kind of correct or help the cold start with the E85 tune from open flash tablet allowing you to drive on E85 all year round. Real quick before we do get into it I do want to let it be known that I will have a link in the description to a page that will have this tune file available for purchase. Um, it'll have this change a few others for E85 specifically and some non E85 specific changes. If you're interested in more information please follow the link in the description. Also if this is your first time making changes with ROM Raider for your open flash files I'll have a link in the description as well for everything you need to know of how to set up uh, ROM Raider and use open flash manager for the first time. Uh, so let's go ahead and we'll get right into this. Uh, what we want to do once we have our tune file loaded up here we want to head over to the fueling cranking section and we want to open up the uh, following tables we want to open up with a b c d e and f so once we have all of these tables opened up we just kind of want to arrange them just so it's a little easier to kind of see everything at once here cool so we got everything laid out nice and neat uh, so what we're going to be changing is basically everything from 68 degrees down um, and we're going to be changing every cell so the first change we're going to be making is to those cells uh, right here these three what we're going to want to do is in this column up here we're going to want to type in a value of 1.2 and in ROM Raider you have two options you can either set an absolute value which right now that'll change each and every cell to 1.2 or we can multiply that value so that's what we're going to want to make sure we're doing we're multiplying these values so once I click this, you'll see all three of those columns changed. And we want to go ahead and just do this to every one in that 68 degree column. So if we notice this well in ROM Raider, it'll highlight in red every change that we've made. That way we can one, keep track of what we've done and two, just let you know a change has been committed. Uh, one thing to watch out for as well, if you double click this multiply, it is going to multiply twice. Watch out for that because you can potentially get yourself into a big problem. So I would just keep track of how the numbers are looking and just make sure nothing looks too crazily out of place. Uh, so our next change is the 50 degree. And again, just like we just did for 68, we're just going to want to select all of our columns. And we're actually going to change this value from 1.2 to 1.25. And we'll just go ahead and multiply each and every one of these columns like we did. Cool. And then lastly, for our, our real big changes here, um, we're going to go ahead and from everything from 32 degrees down to negative 40, we're just going to select all of those. And then again, we're going to make a little change to our value. And then again, just multiply each and every cell. Perfect. So now we have tables A through E completely adjusted. And if you might have noticed, I've left out F for a specific reason. All the tune files I've ever loaded with the uh, Open Flash tablet, for whatever reason, that one always reads 32 degrees in that uh, upper row. So, to me anyway, I don't know, you guys might just want to fly by night and not double check your work. That is just a little confusing, so what I do is I'll just come up here. You can count out the rows. You got one, two, three, four, five, six. You go seven deep, that's where you need to be. One, two, three four five six so now we're seven deep this is 68 so again we do 1.2 1.25 for the one behind it and then select all of these and this becomes 1.3 so there we go. There are all the changes we would need to make to kind of help out with that cold start issue that the E85 tune seemed to have. Again, if you guys have any issues, leave a comment down below. I will do everything I can to help you out with this or any other ROM Raider questions or problems you might be having. I'll do everything in my power to help you out. I've played around with this for a while now on the car. I haven't noticed any issues with these changes. And I've only had it once where I've had a crank twice to get it going. And it sat for three days and it was extremely cold out. So... Take from that what you will. As always, I'd like to thank each and every single one of you for watching. And if you would like to subscribe for more MediaCore content such as this, uh, please do and take care.